We're here to talk about why you should donate to the Winter Clothing Drop-Off Point. I think we have a lot of students on campus who are really great and they go out and they help in the local community. We have a lot of students who work at soup kitchens and things, but it's about making that accessible to other students who maybe don't have the time to give up. Doing what we're doing with a drop-off point on campus is really easy for all students to bring their old clothes, their old jumpers and hats and everything here, and then they can make a real difference in Norwich. I think it's really nice to provide something for them in the winter holiday season because it's going to be so cold and so dark that everyone really needs to wrap up warm to keep themselves safe. It's a nice thing to do if you're thinking about the run up to Christmas. You can do it as sort of a reverse advent calendar type thing that a lot of people are doing. So that's a really lovely thing to do in this winter season. I think it's hugely beneficial, first of all, giving the basic needs allows people to A, feel empowered, um, B, feel safe, feel respected and, and valued. It might seem as like it's one small thing, but it actually makes a massive difference. This is such an important issue. The homeless people on the streets really need your support and this is a great way to do that. Local homeless people will benefit from these donations as well as refugees and asylum seekers here who come to Norwich. I definitely think that everyone should have a sense of affinity to refugees because those refugees have been people and are still people. Essentially, we're them and they're us, you know, and it could be anyone. It could be you, it could be me. I think it's a huge issue because those numbers are rising. But I also think it's a huge issue that they are just portrayed as statistics. You really need to look at it from a perspective where they're people again. So I do think that would help students be more aware and you know pay more attention to it. But I also think that because of the desensitization of things like this from the media and everything, we really need to take that step forward for students to see beyond that. That mother with that child, for example, had a certain job, you know, had a certain life before she became a refugee and is still that person, you know, if she had a degree, she still has that degree, but she doesn't look like, you know, she's benefiting from her past.